is Amanda from I Sew A Lot and as you can see today I've got some visitors on my video and they've got some lovely mummy maids that they would like to show you. So we have got three things each haven't we? Made from the Rowan tea pattern by Titchy Threads. Hi Rowan! And this is Rowan and Eden. Eden and they would like to show you all their lovely things that I've made them um, last month so this is my April makes so first of all Rowan you're gonna stand up and show everyone Rowan is wearing the Rowan tee and this is a short sleeve version and if you get a bit closer to the camera Rowan put your arms down uh, Rowan's t-shirt is made using cotton and steel, I think it's called mystery food jersey. Um, I got it for, from Emmist for Make, but unfortunately I know they don't do it anymore. But Rowan loves it, don't you Rowan? Yeah. Right, so if you step back, if you step down here and then Eden's going to show you his. Okay, do you want to stand over there Eden where Rowan yes. was? Okay, let's have a look then. Maybe if we turn it around a little. And are you going to get close and show everyone what's on your t-shirt? What's on it? Crab. Okay, move back. So uh, Eden is also wearing the Rowan tee and this is some uh, crab jersey and um, I think it's by Katia Fabrics um, and I actually purchased this from So Me Sunshine. Okay, so they're going to quickly get changed and then they're going to show you the next ones. Okay, so next up we've got some more Rowan tees uh, but these are actually slightly different so if Rowan you want to stand up Come over here. As you can see, I've added a little cuff to these. And if you want to move back a bit, Rowan, so that everyone can see, Rowan actually screen printed this t shirt in a screen printing class with the lovely Rachel from I Printed That, and you loved it, didn't you? Mm -hmm. And so, yes, and this t shirt was actually made from a ladies' t shirt that we purchased because we couldn't find any little boys' work t shirts. Yes. Okay, you're going to show everyone yours, Eden? So you jump up and Eden, you need to step back away so they can see your design. Look at that. Come on. And uh, Eden also printed his in the screen print class and he had the most complicated design. So actually needed a little bit of help to and cut his And you cried because you waited last. Okay. <laughs> right. So they've got one more thing to show you. They will be back in a set. Okay, so this is the last thing and we made from the Rowan T uh, pattern, also made some lovely shark sweaters. So you're going to show up, you're going to both stand up at the centre. So as you can see, Eden has got navy inside his hood. They both have navy cuffs and a navy hemband. Rowan's got sharks inside his hood. And if you move back a bit, put your head down. They also have a gusseted hood, and as you can see, Eden's is navy, and Rowan's just kept with the shark fabric. And they are perfect, aren't they, boys? And you love them? Yeah, yeah. They are fantastic. Mommy so, a great <laughs> we definitely recommend the Titchy Threads Rowan tea pattern. Okay, so they're going to pop off now, and I'm going to show you what else I made. Say bye, bye then. Bye. Okay, so on to my makes. And um, this month, um, I've made quite a few staples because as I said in my last video, um, I um, am seriously lacking in just normal plain basic t-shirts in my wardrobe. So the first thing I've made is a Sew Over It Molly tee. And as you can see, I've made it from a viscose jersey that I purchased from Minerva Crafts last uh, year. Um, I actually bought it with the intention of making some t-shirts for my husband and this was left over. Um, their kimono sleeve. Um, you can also make it with a long sleeve, but I wanted just some normal um, summer lightweight t-shirts. It's obviously got a curved hem, so it dips down a bit lower at the back than the front. And I think this uh, t-shirt pattern is perfect for a viscose blend jersey because it's nice to have something with a bit of drape. And I also made a plain white one because you know, who doesn't need a plain white t-shirt in their summer wardrobe? So yes, and I've been wearing them loads. I didn't realize how much I needed them um, until I made them. But yeah, I could do the black one and possibly a navy one as well. And then I would be set for the summer. So I've actually got quite a few things to show you this month. One other thing that I can quickly show you without getting changed is that I also made 
Uh, when my husband saw the crab uh, fabric that I made Eden's t-shirt from, he asked me to make him one in the same fabric because he really liked it. So I also made him a men's metro tee. I've showed this pattern before and it is from Liesl & Co. It was just a basic crew neck t-shirt and he really likes it and the fit is pretty good. So yes, but fit's really good and the fabric is really lovely as well and he really likes it. Okay, so I'm going to get changed quickly um, into my next thing and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've also made um, some Nico tops by True Bias. Really nice pattern. I used um, this lovely rib knit from Fabric Godmother. It's really lightweight. Um, I've got it tucked into jeans today, but I really like the fit. It's obviously a very close fitting um, top and it's got this uh, turtleneck as well which is really nice um, I made this pattern and um, I didn't have to make any alterations so it was really fab this one I've made with three quarter length sleeves because to be perfectly honest I only ordered a metre of fabric and I couldn't get the sleeves out of it as well um, but I've also made a navy version which I think is my favourite and looks really good with jeans and is a real classic and if you watched my plans video, I also have made it in a pink version. And as you can see, it's a really nice rib knit. And like I say, it was from Fabric Godmother. And this one's got full length sleeves. So yes, they are perfect. And some more t-shirt additions to my wardrobe. I've got one more t-shirt to show you. Um, and then I've got a couple of special things that I've made this month as well. So I'm just going to get changed and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I've also made another Jennifer Lauren Ostara top and this is from a really lovely um, modal jersey from the lovely Cheryl of Stitchy B. Again, I showed this, I sh I've made one before in the pink colourway and yeah, it's a really great pattern. Again, another close fitting tee but I really like the scoop neck. Um, Again, shoulders fitted really well, body really well. I didn't make any changes save for, um, as I did with the pink one, I added some length to the sleeve and some length to the body. But I think this is a really pretty colour and really nice for summer. Um, so yeah, I'm going to get lots of wear and this modal jersey is so soft. Um, I don't know if you'll be able to see, but on the inside it's actually like um, a French terry. So it is really soft. And lovely um, so yes a bit warm but um, I really love it and the color is really fab I don't know if she has any of this colorway or the pink left she did also have it in a minty green and a kind of duck egg color as well or no a gray that was it it was like a duck eggy duck eggy bluey green and a gray but I don't know what she's got left because I know um, when she first put them up they sold out really really quickly so um, yes, I have two more things to show you and they are quite special things so I'm going to get changed and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, so I have also made um, another Samantha dress um, which is the um, smiley pattern um, which has been produced by the lovely Athena and Hattie um, who also uh, produced the smiley magazine and this pattern was attached to the last version of um, last issue of the magazine, the first issue of the magazine. Um, I made it in a black colourway, um, just from some normal black um, jersey. Um, but I had this lovely, gorgeous pink velour left over from around Christmas time when I ordered it. And I just thought it would be perfect. Um, it's a bit 70s, but I really love that. So if I stand up, I can show you. I've got some pins in it because I think I need to um, stitch it up a little bit, stop gape. So, um, yes, I really like it. The fit is really good. And um, it's got the really um, lovely large collar, which I really like. And the lovely neckband. I'll turn around so you can see the back a little. Um, but what I did on this version, I did make a change. Um, because I, um, the original pattern actually features um, near enough a full circle skirt 
um, and I'm not really a fan of full circle skirts because all of that fabric I think on me not on everybody but it tends to accentuate the hips and because I have quite a small um, frame here it actually makes me look out of proportion so um, I changed up the skirt on this pattern for the skirt pieces from the Jennifer Lauren laneway dress which is my go-to dress pattern it's got a perfect a-line skirt on it and I love that pattern I, I've made I think I've made four and I've used the skirt pattern pieces on another two dresses as well so it really is a fab um, standard skirt pattern for me and yeah it worked really well I really like the um, the fullness of it better than uh, on the original so yes it's obviously got the tie belt, which I really like, and it just feels really luxurious and a little bit kitsch, which I really like, but I think it's got really flattering shape. But that's the only thing, um, because it's velvet, it doesn't really stick to itself like normal jersey would, so I'm going to stitch this closed uh, just to keep it in the right position. So, I've got one more thing to show you, and again, it's quite a special thing, so I'm going to get changed, and I'll be back in a minute. Okay, this is my final thing and it is obviously um, using my Lisa Comfort cotton lawn fabric that I purchased uh, shortly after she released her collection and I have made the Nina Lee Q dress. Um, I love it. <laughs> I turn around, you can see the back. Hopefully you can see. Um, it's obviously got a placket. All the way down the front and I've used um, covered buttons um, I went for the short sleeve version um, it also comes with an off-the-shoulder option um, so the sort of a cold shoulder option or just a strapped version um, a strappy version but I went for the sleeves because I was using a cotton on rather than something with a bit more drape but I didn't go for the ruched sleeve option um, the fit is really good if I was to make it again I would probably take a little bit out of the back because I've got a bit of a gape at the back you can see there um, and I would perhaps take the shoulders in slightly just so it's slightly uh, more fitted around here um, but other than that, oh, the only change I did make is um, I didn't. I don't really like the high low hem on me, and the length of it was T length dress, um, T dress length. So um, I only had a meter and a half of fabric, so I took six inches off the length. Um, so that was off the front bands as well. Um, you know the uh, facings as well yeah I took six inches off and I only used a really really narrow hem rather than hand stitching I just overlocked and then I turned the overlocking up so um, those are the changes I made um, and I really like it I think it's a really special dress I'm not normally a fan of cotton lawn because um, it's quite lightweight and it does crease quite badly so I don't usually go for cotton on but because um, it was so beautiful this colour um, design is elderflower press and it's obviously the navy colourway um, I didn't uh, think about my uh, <laughs> placement very well clearly as I can see from this video but um, I really love it it's a really lovely dress I didn't um, have to make any fit adjustments um, when I made it up and the only things that obviously I will change are just from wearing it and not 100% necessary but um, I think it would overall give me a slightly better fit than I have already but yes I'm really looking forward to the weather warming up